I'm envisioning it, the plastic going in. Nice to be on the water. I do think this year is going to be make or break. Um, and of course, break is the default setting. And if we work hard and we make the right decisions and we have a bit of luck, then we can make it. Like this, once we unveil this, I could really take the Ocean Clip to the next level. It's going to be people look back and say, well, that was really an important moment in the fight against plastic pollution. But it really looks good, and I have a lot of faith in this machine. This is really the key to make river interception a solution for, for plastic, is that it, you know, if you just have one system, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to, to work, it's not going to scale. Um, you know, what we see with our research is we really need thousands of systems around the world to, to, to close the tap. So what you can't do is just go from river to river and have to reinvent the wheel every single time. So you, what, you, what you need is a product that you can just build many of in a production facility and um, have these kind of off-the-shelf products that you ship around the world. And, uh, install one by one. So it's really the, the scale which is key to success and, and we designed this machine for scale. Scale in terms of that it really feels like a product, it really looks like a product, but also scale in terms of uh, being able to handle the, you know, the, the worst rivers, the uh, worst polluting rivers in the world. When you look at the, the Klang in Malaysia, uh, we're talking about 10,000 tons of plastic per year flowing through that river. Insane amount. Yeah, so this is really sort of industrial river cleaning. And uh, this is how we're going to close the tap. Say hello to the interceptor. Ta -ta! Tomorrow's going to be the big lift. These are these last three days we've did the system acceptance test, uh, which is now approximately finished. Uh, so now we need to get it ready so it can be lifted into the water tomorrow. And a day of crane operation is expensive, and especially a day like tomorrow because we will have two cranes. And uh, it's going to be an, a, a more complicated lift that way. And yeah, we need to make sure that from our side everything is ready. So when the crane comes, it's like Pick it in, throw it in the water. Uh, no, not yet. Wait for the shuttle to return. We're basically trying to sign off the system, so we've got to go through the last functional checks um, so that we can uh, tell the LTEC, our contractor, that everything's all right and we accept the um, product as received. And that's all we've been doing over the last few days. So, all good so far. So, just the paperwork to go now. But what do you want to get signed off, basically, all of the missing items? Actually, I want you to sign off everything, but... Uh... <laughs> what I can do is run through this quickly, where there's a crossover to stick it off. So, like, function intake measurement. Yeah. Approved, because... Um, that everything we're going to miss, then we can work out what, what's missing out. Yeah, All good? Yeah. All right. Cool. I'll do some paperwork. Thank you. This feels really good because we worked hard and but these last two weeks are very exhausting because you at a certain point you, you, you schedule for your lounge, you invite all your honorable guests, 
and you don't want to deviate from that exact timing so there's nothing else to do but uh, to go on every night till uh, till you're finished and uh, well the full team worked on that and I'm very happy that we uh, we managed to come to that conclusion that we can indeed launch tomorrow <laughs>